Hi, I'm Brian, trip organizer, tour guide, and as you'll soon see, amateur videographer. This is Gibson. He's a city slicker from Toronto. He's never visited the Rocky Mountains, so this is our whirlwind tour of the Canadian Rockies. Tenting in Bow Valley Provincial Park with the Bow River Disc Blower site and with Mount Yamnuska towering in the background, we poked our heads out of our tents and we were treated to a bright blue Alberta skies. Mount Yamnuska has a sheer south face and has inspired the Canadian climbing culture here in the east slopes of the Canadian Rocky Mountains. After a manly breakfast of eggs and some not so delicious mini sausages, we packed up and headed south into Kananaskis country. K Country, as locals know it by, is a system of 18 different parks and recreation areas and ecological reserves. Kananaskis and the rest of the Rocky Mountains are dramatic with their sharply pointed mountains separated by wide, U-shaped valleys which have resulted from heavy glaciation. Once into the heart of Kananaskis country, I switch from taking video with my helmet cam to taking still photos every 30 seconds, thus allowing me to capture more action and not using up all of my available storage. We were hoping to see some wildlife along this stretch, and we were presented with an omen, a small creek named Grizzly Creek, and no more than 200 meters past the creek we spot our first bear of this trip, this nice looking grizzly bear that was dining on dandelions. Highwood Pass still had an impressive amount of snow for June 25th, which may not be surprising as Highway 40 becomes the highest elevated paved road in Canada at the pass. Leaving Highwood Pass and heading southeast, the mountains give way to rolling grasslands and we aim our bikes for our next via point, Longview, Alberta. Longview is in the heart of ranch, land, and cowboy country, so we stop and buy some steaks for tonight's dinner. We battled the stubborn winds of southern Alberta and have made it back into the Rocky Mountains and across the Crowsness Pass, and stop in Sparwood, BC to marvel at the Terex Titan once the world's largest truck. From here it's just a short 30 kilometers to Fernie, BC, our stop for the night. Hey, this is Gibson. This is the morning of June 26th and uh, we're here at uh, Mount Fernie Provincial Park in uh, Fernie, BC. We made it all the way over from Kananaska and uh, very nice day today. What can I say? The ride was pretty horrid coming out of uh, Kananaskis country. Really windy. Um, we did stop in uh, Longview where we got beef jerky. So we're having beef jerky and bagels for breakfast. It's kind of awesome. It's a man's breakfast. That, that's what we do. Um, great campsite. We got one of the last campsites that were available. Actually, somebody had reserved it. But the uh, girl was nice enough to let us have it. Um, Brian's making friends all over the place. We actually, uh, uh, on the way up here, we, uh, I guess, rode on the highest road in Canada. And I uh, um, can't remember what the name of the, pa the pass is right now, uh, but it's over 72,000 uh, meters eleva in elevation, uh, which was cool. And uh, we met somebody doing that, which is awesome. And then uh, last night, uh, Brian met somebody that he used to go to school with at University of Alberta. So that's pretty awesome. He's just a gem to ride with. He's uh, he's God among men. That's that's all I can say. Um, but uh, t today we're headed out to um, where are we headed today? <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> it's an unusual name. We're headed to Invermere and hopefully be staying at uh, a Great Tricks family cabin. Uh, it'd be nice to uh, to get off of the ground. It was kind of chilly here last night. It must have went down to at least I don't know minus two, minus three. That's what it felt like. I didn't feel I didn't sleep so well, but uh, Mr. Great Tricks did. He looks fresh and ready to go as usual. But. Uh, that's about it. We're on day three. So, three out of seven. We're almost there at halfway. But uh, that's it for now. Gibson out. Keep the rubber side down and your right hand cranked.
Good morning. Welcome to Mount Fernie Provincial Park. Uh, we've had two serious days of riding. Um, we've been on the road, seems like eight hours each day, which is uh, definitely wearing on us. We get up, get our campsite stowed away, and uh, push as hard as we can, but can't uh, get to our next destination before 8 p.m. and are always in a rush to get some groceries and get, get a meal on. Last night's meal took a bit of time. The campfire situation just wasn't the best uh, for cooking our steaks that we bought in Longview that we were really looking forward to so that uh, weighed on us a little bit uh, but other than that I think uh, typical traveling companion frustrations are are surfacing but nothing nothing serious to this point I'll uh, try to make sure Gibson gets to lead the way a little bit a couple of times he uh, I might be getting left behind on some of the twisty bits or uh, was uncomfortable with some of the cars around him, so I'll uh, try and give him that room. And we're off to Invermere today, so it's two and a half hours of, of riding. We'll stop in Kimberley for brunch. We're, I think we're basically going to give up on cooking any sort of breakfast here this morning, and just try and get to Invermere so we can relax. We have a hopefully have the cabin, so that'll be a nice treat just to be able to sit on the deck for a little while. So hopefully we can get there quick. This is the uh, morning of day three.